you feel being back out there? I felt like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's been a long journey. Journey. Uh, you know, I've said it plenty of times. I don't want to keep, you know, going over the same story, but uh, this was probably one of the best days of my life, just being out there on the floor again, playing the game that I love. Uh, my teammates were great. They they supported me through this entire process. The organization that supported me through this entire process. Uh, they made it easy and smooth for me as much as they could. Uh, they understood the you know the struggles that I went through on the daily, and um, like I said, they just made it as smooth and as easy as possible. So uh, you know I thank them, and um, like I said, it's one of the best days of my life. Demarcus, can you take us through what your emotions were like after that dunk, uh, and then seeing how the bench reacted? I'm just glad to know I could still dunk. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it felt good. Um, you know, I, I, I never in a million years would have thought that would have been my first, you know, my first basket, you know, playing ball again. But uh, you know, um, I liked how it happened, and uh, I probably I wouldn't have changed it. I like that. Hey, Demarcus, uh, over here. Was it any more? different or emotional leading up to this game because of the significance of it and how long you've been out? Um, it was. I was I was extremely nervous. You know, I was texting my um, my family and, you know, friends kind of before the game. I talked to my brother. Uh, I talked to my sister, my older sister as well, and, um, you know, I was just telling them how nervous I was. And they're like, man, you've been doing this your whole life. Like, it's kind of like, you know, riding a bike. You know, once, you, once you learn, you kind of never forget. But, um, you know, I was nervous all the way up until, and, you know, stomach was tight, butterflies, BGs, whatever you want to call it. And uh, But once the ball went up, you know, you know, everything kind of went out the window, and it all, it all felt familiar. Were you surprised how open you were from three? It seemed like all your threes were. Like yeah, two. man. Uh, I, wonder what the, I wonder what the scouting report is on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can shoot, <laughs> but, you know, I'll take it. Uh, they made my night a little easy. So, I'm not mad at it. DeMarcus, speak, speaking of the shooting, um, is, it, is this as good as you've ever felt as a three-point shooter in your career? Um, I mean, I can't determine that off of one game. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty confident shooter when it comes to, you know, shooting the long ball, but uh, I can't determine that off one game. But it felt good tonight. How is it to play without double teams when, when you have a single coverage? Oh, that, this is a first. Like in my entire basketball career, <laughs> so uh, I definitely can get used to this. Uh, Demarcus, uh, how did it feel just to get your rhythm back? At what point did you feel like your rhythm was coming back? You started to get your touches. Uh, honestly, I I still don't really feel like my rhythm is where I want it. Um, every time I like kind of touch the ball, I feel like I was about to travel or like you know kind of trip over my feet. So I would kind of you know catch it and just kind of take my time and then make my decision but uh you know we kind of went we kind of went on a run um I'm not even sure what part of the game it was but we kind of went on the run and uh coach came to me and was like you got f four fouls right now and I was like I feel great right now like so we kind of and at that point I was really like into the game and I was feeling my rhythm it was kind of coming back for me and um but he was asking me like I can either take you out or leave you in but I was like coach just you know do what you got to do <laughs> so how strange was it to kind of be, you know, everything was kind of centered on you tonight. You're getting standing O's when you're walking off after getting fouled out, stuff like that. Man, um, probably the fakest love I ever received in my life. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep it a bean. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't see how, you know, guys like Steph and, and Kay do it on the daily, where it's just. Cameras around them all day. I like. I don't like it I'm, at all. Like, so hopefully this is the last day of this. <laughs> Demarcus, what did it, Demarcus, what did it mean for you to see Draymond Green go to bat for you in that second quarter after that no call, and then end up getting teed up by that ref? Just you sure it was just him? You sure it was him going to bat for me? <laughs> I think Draymond was arguing the call earlier for himself. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. But. Uh, <laughs> No, like it's a great group of guys, man. You can tell they, we all, uh, they all fight for one another. Um, there's nothing but love in the room. Like I said, they've been great since I've walked in, so uh, I'm not surprised at all. Can you, oh, sorry. Can you talk about the you 
referred to your team as the most hated team in sports. Do you feel like this team, every night, there's the opposition takes it to another level on you guys? Um, well, it's not even it's not even about that. Like when it comes to opposing team, we're, we're going to get their best effort every night, no matter who it is. It's it's, it's the opposite team Super Bowl. So, um, but when I was referring to that, I mean, I mean, have you seen social media? <laughs> Like, man, I mean, if you – and me just sitting on the sideline throughout the season so far, like, you know, some of the things that that's, you know, being said on the daily just from out of the stands, it's, it's crazy. And um, and, and it's sick to think about, like, you get this much hate from a simple game of putting a, a round ball through a hoop. But it's, it's crazy. But, yeah, I, I stand by what I said. Hey, Demarcus. With the, some of the different Clippers trying to be physical and bait you, how did how did you try to handle that and respond to that? Who's being physical? Uh, sometimes Cortad or Harold. Man, yeah. y'all lucky this is my first day back. Right. I would tell you how I really feel about Buddy, but uh, I'm a you know I'm gonna be cool and, and stay on this uh, <laughs> you know this straight line right now. Fair enough. Wait until I get midseason for him. I got something for you. DeMarcus. I saw us close before the game, too. That's why I felt some type of way. But, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, DeMarcus, you said you were, DeMarcus, you said you were dealing with things on a day-to-day basis. How were you able to keep a positive mindset around the team? Um, I mean, outside of basketball, like my family, like they've, they've been my, you know, my, my rock, my foundation through this whole process. And, um, and outside of my family, my teammates and the organization, they've been great. So, uh. When I was in the gym or around between the lines, I had, you know, the organization of my teammates to lean on. And when I was heading home, I had my family to lean on. So, uh, you know, I just kept it pushing. Two more questions. Left hand side, and the basketball world was kind of awaiting this return. Um, how would you describe the on the court chemistry with your teammates and just finally kind of breaking that seal? Um, I mean, it wasn't bad. Uh, I think we can get a, a whole lot better, and um, we got a lot of potential. Um, and honestly, this was our first time like playing together. Steve just kind of threw us out there in the fire. Quinn uh, uh, QC actually reminded me. I'm like, man, I, like, like what's going on? And he had to remind me, like, yo, bro, this y'all first time like playing together. Like, we haven't even really practiced together, so um, we got a lot of growing room. DeMarcus, you mentioned earlier that you'd spoken to some close members of your family leading up to the game. Was there anything that anyone said that kind of maybe helped calm your nerves or help prepare you for this experience? Uh, my, my girl, she she sent me a, a great message before the game, and it just kind of put everything in perspective for me. And uh, she sent me this picture. It was like the day after I had my surgery, and I was sitting in a wheelchair in uh, L.A., you know, staring out at a sunset. <clears throat> She, I didn't. It wasn't planned or anything, but you know, she called a good moment and she just kind of sent it to me and was like, you know, think about where you are now and you know where you came from, and I just kind of put everything in perspective for me. My lady. Great, thank you. Appreciate that. A lot of the other guys.